everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. So I'm now back from Canada and uh, for my first recipe I'm going to make some mini chocolate chip scones or scones but these are the American or Canadian type of scone which are triangular in shape rather than the round ones that we get in Britain that you can easily break in half. And I'm actually going to do mine in this mini scone tin but I'll show you how you can easily do them just on a baking tray um, and uh, so they're going to be quite easy to do as all scones are and the recipe uh, has a, a few ingredients which are 260 grams which is two cups of plain flour and it has uh, one and a quarter uh, teaspoons of baking powder which is going straight into the flour a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda that goes into the flour as well. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt and that can go into the flour as well. 50 grams of sugar which is a quarter of a cup that goes into the flour. And I mix all of those around just to get them started. And then I have a half a cup which is 113 grams of uh, cold butter which I've chopped up into uh, chunks. I have three quarters of a cup, 180 millilitres of buttermilk. I have three quarters of a cup which is 135 grams of small or mini chocolate chips and I have a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract and I put the vanilla extract into the baking, uh, into the buttermilk straight away. So what I'm going to do to start off is simply to rub or cut the butter into the flour until it's um, incorporated uh, into a sort of coarse grain like texture. Now you can do this with a pastry blender or with a knife or with your fingers like this which is what I'm going to do just with my fingers. And while I'm doing it, I'll tell you that I have my oven preheated to uh, 200 Celsius, 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit. And if you're going to do, it, do this on a baking tray, you'll need to line it with silicon mat or parchment paper. So it's just about coarse enough, I think. There's a few little bits of butter, but it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do now is put the chocolate chips in and I'm going to stir those around. And then I'm going to pour the buttermilk and vanilla extract in. And I'm going to stir that around as well until it's just combined. I don't want to mix this too much. As you can see that's quite a sticky mess but that's fine. So at this stage I would normally just decant that into my um, mini scone tin but what I'm going to do is just put some flour on the work surface and I'm going to tip this out onto that flour And I'm going to form that into a square about nine inches. Just by patting it with my floured hands.
and with that like that what I'm going to do is I'm going to then cut that into um, four quarters like that. And I'm going to cut each of the four quarters into four quarters. Like that. And then I'm going to put each of those uh, onto a baking tray and I'm going to bake them for uh, 13 to 15 minutes until they're a nice golden colour. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put each of mine into my tin like this and I'm going to bake them in the oven for 13 to 15 minutes until they've turned a nice golden colour then I'll take them out let them cool down and I'll come back and show you the result. So our mini chocolate chip scones baked I actually baked mine for 18 minutes. I didn't think they looked done. Um, I took one out and felt it and it didn't feel quite done. So I baked them for 18 minutes. And then I took them out and allowed them to cool down. And this is what they look like. So they bake nicely. Now you could actually, if you want them browner than this, you could brush the top with a little bit of milk before you bake them. So I'll have a taste. Mm. nice and soft and they have a lovely texture to them and then the, the flavour of the chocolate chips. Now I use milk chocolate chips but you could use dark chocolate that would work just fine. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on to take you to this recipe and I'll put a link below the video for that as well. I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future, so until then, happy baking.